Good evening, class. Do you listen to me? Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Yes. Okay, great, excellent. Thank you for being here, for being early birds. In five minutes, we are going to get started, okay? So relax and thank you for joining. Thank you, Miss Norma Patricia, Claudia Maria, Mr. Darío Alvarenga, and Miss Concepcion Marina, okay? In five minutes, we get started. Thank you so much for being very responsible because it is actually in four minutes because it is four to eight. Thank you. Okay, relax okay. and get ready. Exactly the time to get started, and here we go, okay? So, good evening again, Miss Concepcion Marina, Mr. Juan Antonio, welcome, uh, Miss Stephanie Carranza, good evening, 
Miss Norma Patricia, good evening. Mr. Atilio Castillo, good evening. Mr. Darío Alvarenga, good evening. Thank you for joining. Miss Mirna Lisette Hernández, good evening. Mr. Luis Miguel Corvera, you are telling us that you are at work, right? So you're going to be as a listener today. Okay, thank you for letting us know. And here I have uh, Miss Mirna Lisette, Mr. Luis Miguel, as I told you, Mr. Josue Garcia, Miss Marina Chansi, she's joining right now, Miss Sandra Leticia Peraza is joining, Miss Mariana Escalante, good evening. Thank you, Miss Carla Sofia. She's joining. And Miss Carla Sofia Argueta is okay, activating the sound. So class, welcome to this session number two. And tell me, how was your holiday? Was it okay, great? Did you enjoy your holiday? Did you relax? Yes. It was nice mm -hmm. week. Good evening, welcome, because it was it was Wednesday, right? So today is Thursday and tomorrow, Friday. It means weekend is next door, yeah? Very close the weekend. So it was nice to have that holiday in the middle of the week. And here we go. Marina Jansi, okay. Thank you, Marina Jansi. Okay, class, listen, if you remember, I told you the day before yesterday that we were going to start as a feedback with the presentation of your project. Do you remember that? The one that you ended up the class, okay, before we finish it. So I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you right now. Okay, here, today is November the 3rd, 2022. Remember, my name is Irma Carvalho, right? And here, we have the agenda for our video conference number two. Greetings, as every day, I told you we're going to have a feedback. One of you is going to help me reading the objectives for tonight. In the pre-task, we're going to be using and you're going to be working with the structure what clauses. The preparation task is the same. Use on a structure of what clauses and the task, the center of today's activities are going to be around the structure and how to use what clauses. And I expect that we're going to be working at pages 11 and 12 at the end of wrapping up of the class. Here, Again, my name is Irma Carballo, and a reminder for you class is this, the homeworks and evaluations, okay? Remember that you need to be working every day, every week in the uh, homeworks and evaluations for this week. So here the requirements from InsaForb, your full name when you are in class all the time because of the attendance. And here it says, in el caso de oyentes, you are the word oyente, but all of you are not oyentes. You are, you are not listeners, you are students because you register. The camera on during all the session, the sound off, unless it is required not to do so to participate in class. The active participation in class 100% as you did the day before yesterday. It was great, congratulations. Here, a reminder about the attendance. The desired attendance is 120 minutes because that is each class. And I'm going to call your names to take the attendance twice, okay? And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me for about 10 minutes in order to practice, to have an extra practice or to reinforce any grammar structure or to clarify any doubt. In the Zoom, you have the mute button so everybody can listen what the teacher is saying or when you are explaining or presenting something, the camera on, the chats are available, WhatsApp, and in the Zoom platform. 
in the breakout rooms, active participation, 100%, and you have also available the ask for help button. And here we are still in section one, week number one, okay? So by November the 8th, your first week in the platform must be done because I need to transfer your grades to the book and the administration refers your performances to INSAFORP. And here is what I was telling you about, okay? The objectives for today. So one volunteer to help me reading, who wants to help me reading? Only one. Okay. Or different. Thank you so much. Be my guest, please. General advocates. Participants will develop competencies that will allow them to, excuse me, excuse me, uh, I, I, the text. Allow uh, them to mark steps in a progress and ask and answer question to check that maintenance procedures are meeting in face to face and telephone conversation with others in worst situations. Okay, now the specific objective. Hello. Another. Oh. Another part. Oh, if you want to continue, go ahead. No problem. No, another one. Another participant. Okay. We need another volunteer to read the specific objective for today's class. Who's going to be that one? Me, Ms. teacher. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Concepcion Marina. Participants will be able to introduce important information about a product. Great, excellent. And that is what you're going to start with the feedback, okay? And now another participant to read the class objective for tonight. Hello. Thank you, Nelly. Class objective. And then for the class participants, we'll be able to use any structure watch clauses. Excellent. Very well. Thank you so much. So we're going to go over the feedback. The instructions are the following. Get ready in teams and present to the class the product project you created uh, last class. If you remember... I told you to choose one representative who was going to present the project. Is your representative ready? The speaker of the group to share the project that you created. I remember that in one group there was a, a sandwich, yes? Uh, pancakes, I think in another group. Okay, are you ready to share with the class? Because yes. that, okay, volunteers, you may share the screen if you want to, or you just read the steps. Um, I'm going to share. Excellent. Now you are um, the star. Yeah. In our group, um, we choose the chocolate chip pancake product. Uh, First step, buy the ingredients. And the ingredients, number one, I found a powder. Number two, eggs. Number three, eggs. Milk, excuse me. Number four, butter. Number five, honey. And number six, chocolate chip. Um, the second step, put the pan paper in the bowl. First step, add one cup of milk. And later, add one egg. Um, please, my other um, partners are, 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 eh, Carla, creo que estaba con nosotros, quiero ver, quien estaba con nosotros, ese me olvidó, para que ellos leyeran las demás. Ajá, uh -huh. okay, another partner who wants to help uh, Juan Antonio. They left you alone, Tony. Hello. <laughs> okay, Pablo, Alberto, hey. Alberto, Alberto is going to help you. Mr. Please. Abrego. Okay. 
eh, perdón, casi, eh, casi no escucho, eh, soy un medio cortadito, pero bueno, bueno creo que ahí voy. Um, after mix all the ingredients, mix we all melt the barrel in the first pan, uh, next put the melt barrel in the bowl, and then continue mix the ingredients. Okay, who's more in our group? Uh, Another participant okay. in that group? Don't okay. be shy. Okay. <laughs> Owen poured the mixture into the saucepan, then add the chocolate chip and two derivatives after, flip the pancake. And finally, third plate and enjoy your delicious chocolate chip pancake and with honey. Uh -huh. with, uh, and, and you can add some honey on them, yeah? Okay, congratulations. Very well done, group. Excellent. That is what you have to do. Congrats. Okay. Okay, very well done. Congrats. And now another group. Okay, Brandon, Mr. Brandon Zavala. Is your group going to participate? Hello, class. Only one group. You were working very hard. Yeah. Hello, hello. One more group, at least, not only one. Claudia and I, teacher. Okay, excellent. Begin. Okay. Claudia. Okay, enrollment in each English model. When you see the advertising, the social media, you do the following steps. First, ask for information, then English Corporativo send the email for, the, for enrollment, and each participant give the information of the company and then fill out the form and send it along with the forms. After you wait for confirmation of registration in module, and next you receive mail and WhatsApp message to start the class at the select time. Finally, each participant register on the Zoom platform with their full name in each session and receive the class and its responsibility to have a camera on, participate in class, and to do the homework, not to receive the class, it is necessary to have access and complete all the tasks and to do the exams and complete attendance. Thank you. This is a product, but more than a product is a service. Yes, because yes. as I told you for everything, there is a um, a process that we need to follow for everything in our life. Okay, okay, Celia, Celia Cristina, no problem. Thank you. Another group class. We have a little. Okay, <laughs> okay, Miss Carla Sofia, begin. Yeah. No sé si lo ven. Es lo que logramos hacer. Eh, yes. The peanut process, butter. Uh -huh, para realizar peanut butter. First, we roast the peanuts. Eh, second, clean the peanut. Quitarle la, como la piel. <laughs> then we the, skin, the skin. The skin. Uh -huh. 
the, we crush the peanut grains with a blender until it becomes butter. Finally, we serve the butter in whatever we want. <laughs> You serve the, the, the butter and it's ready, okay? Thank you so much. So you see different processes for different products. Very well. Thank you, Miss, for sharing. Another team? One more team? No. Oh my God. Okay. Since there is no other group, only three groups present here. I don't know why, because uh, you don't need to be shy. Let's see. Uh, Miss Celia Cristina, okay. Great. Okay. So, nobody else. Then let's continue. And here we go. I'm going to continue because, you know, we have to, okay? And here, I'm going to share. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, before we go over this and this, this is what you were working with. And here at step number six, your turn, this is what you are sharing. Present your work to the rest of the class. That is why I'm demanding from you to present it because you need to practice. Remember, practice makes perfect, okay? If you don't practice, how are you supposed to speak a language? And here you choose, yeah, the instruction was choose a product you know about and mark the steps on the manufacturing process. And this is what you have done, right? And you have been presenting to the rest of the class. It was a requirement from the manual, from in support, not from the teacher. And here are the words to mark steps in a process. First, second, third, then later after, right, right after, next, and finally. And those are the words that you have been practicing. And also you were practicing with this conversation. Do you remember? Yes? Also you have first, second, and finally. And right now I would like to have two volunteers in order to practice this conversation. Read it as it is, the way it is, okay? So I need someone to read Anna, one girl, and one boy to read Mark. Who wants to practice reading Anna? Hello, hey girls, please be active. Don't be shy, no matter if you mistake, that is why we are reinforcing. Okay, I'm going to read once and later you volunteer. Nelson, thank you. Nelson is going to read Mark. And who is going to read Anna? Me, teacher. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Miss uh, Nelly. Let's begin, one, two, three. Okay, Mark. Would you explain us what the manufacture process is? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. This is how we make our top seller first. We add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of a sliced almonds. Uh, sounds great. And then? Finally. We have finger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I am not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Right. Let's take a look. Thank you so much. Very well done. And here we go. Mark, would you explain? Do you remember that I told you to add over here the word to? Would you explain to us? Because would you explain us is not correct. So there's a mistake over here and we need to correct it. Mark, would you explain to us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay. So that was the feedback for the previous class. And right now, because it is exactly the time to call your names. Okay for the first attendance. And here we go. Atilio Ernesto. Hello, Mr. Atilio. Ah, okay. Brandon Josue. Present, assistant teacher. Okay, thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero. Claudia. Present. Thank you, Miss. Concepcion Marina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Mr. Darío Antonio Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Irma Stephanie Carranza. Present. Okay, thank you, Miss Stephanie. Thank you. Josué Neftali Garcia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Joshua. Juan Antonio. Elias. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan, always here. No Luis Miguel Corvera. He said Present that, teacher. Okay, thank you. You gave the announcement. Marianne Scarlett. Marianne Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Okay. Uh, Miss Marina Jansi. Miss Marina Jansi is absent. Dijo que iba a estar como oyente. Oh, yeah, I see her over here. Mirna Lisette Hernández. Present. Thank you, Miss. Nelly Lilibet. Present. Thank you. Mr. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present. Thank you so much. Norma Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Miss Sandra Leticia Peraza. Sandra, thank you. Miss Wendy Maricela. Present teacher. Miss Carla. Present. Miss Carla Sofía. Miss Celia Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. And I'm going to share with you so you can see how the attendance list is and you don't blame the teacher. Para que vean cómo está la lista de asistencia y la situación que se dio la vez anterior. Se lo voy a compartir. Vean ustedes cómo está mi listado. Miren, entonces yo vengo acá. From 1 to 20. 19 and 20 are empty, right? So this is my list, what I see at the beginning. But suddenly I have number 12 and 13. And here, Carla Sofia, Argueta Chavez, and Celia Cristina. Number 12 and 13 extra. After one line, empty. After 19 and 20, empty. One line with no number. And But here in my original list, I have number 12, Mirna Lisette, and Nelly Lilibet. Okay? That is why I didn't mention the other two girls the day before yesterday, it was not my fault, okay? But now everything is nice. What I want you, listen to me, please. What I want you to do is to pay attention to the teacher. Did you listen what I say? What I want you to do, what I want you to do is to pay attention to the teacher. That is one clause, esa es una cláusula. What I want you to do is to pay attention. What I want you to do is to wash the dishes. Probably somebody tells you, yeah? That is another what clause. And 
this is what we're going to be studying right now. Es lo que vamos a estar estudiando. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay. What clauses? What do we what do we understand by what clauses? Okay, I would like to have one volunteer to help me reading. You have to practice, guys. Me, teacher. Okay, hold it. Please be my guest. Begin. What clauses? A what clause is a type of noun clause or a free related clause that begins with the word what? Should I continue? Yes, please, no problem. In a declarative sentence, one of the most common applications for these clauses, a what clause, which function as a noun, might serve as the subject, usually followed by the form of the verb be, subject complement or object of the sentence. Okay, this is the definition, okay? But right now you're going to see this in context. And here we go. Introduction to the topic. For example, what I want you to do, what, okay? What I want you to do is to go to the American consulate in El Salvador, ask for the consul and give him a message from us. Will you do that? And then time was, yeah. Time was what I wanted. What I wanted from here is what I wanted is the close. Time was what I wanted. What I wanted was impossible. Here, the clause begins with what from the beginning of the sentence. If you notice, what is not used as a question word. Yes? What we gave him was three pupusas and a cup of coffee. What I'd like you to know is the truth, yes? So I want you to notice the difference that when we use the word what as a clause, the meaning is not for a question word, yes? Time was what I wanted. Lo que yo quería era tiempo, yeah? What I wanted was impossible. Lo que yo quería era imposible. So in that case, it is only que. It is not for a question, right? So I don't know if you want me to share these two slides with you guys, or is it clear? Okay, I'm what? going to share. I'm going to share the slides with you via WhatsApp, so you can have it in there. Yeah, over here. Okay, yeah, so you can study it. Over here, first, the first one. This is the WhatsApp. Um, okay. I'm going to wait because it is updating. Okay. Um, here we go. And here you are. Over here. Okay, you have in there the theory. And now I'm going to share with you the examples because it is going to be your, your basis for the next practice. So you can have it as a guide. Now that it is active again, the WhatsApp, it's going to be easier for you. Okay, there you are. And now, because remember, the objective was that today, tonight, you were going to be building sentences using the structure with what, right? In that case, I'm going to share with you in the book, in your manual, the following. Please, everyone, open your manual at page 12, everybody. Okay, Atilio. Here we go, at page 12. Notice this, please. 
I'm going to diminish this. And then we have how to use what clauses. What clauses are often the subject of the verb be? This is what I explained to you in the PPT that I shared via WhatsApp, which can be followed by a word, phrase, or a clause. That word can be a noun, yeah, or a noun clause. For example, what you need, and then you continue. If I say, mm, what you need is to look for a better job next year. Yes. What my friend did was not acceptable, for example. What I would do if I were you is to, to apply for a scholarship, aplicar por una beca. What I'm saying is that I don't share your opinion, but I respect it, yeah? And then here you have some examples. What you need is to have a great product. What my friend did was get fresh ingredients. What I would do is sell my product in new markets. What I'm saying is that it is not an easy task, but not impossible, maybe. So right now, class, do you have any question about how to build these sentences? And pay attention that what you need is to have a great product, even though the clauses begin with what, but they are not questions. That is why we don't have here a question mark. We have a full stop. Fíjense que la palabra what, a pesar de que inicia la oración, no es una oración interrogativa. Por lo tanto, no lleva signo de interrogación al final, sino es que what you need is to have a great product. Lo que tú necesitas es tener un gran producto, un producto fabuloso, ¿sí? El significado es que, pero no es para pregunta, no es para una oración interrogativa, sino una cláusula. ¿Y es, Juan? Mm, sí, justamente esa era la pregunta, si necesito un símbolo de interrogación, porque no. si de cuenta yo estoy haciendo como... Es una, más que una pregunta más, es una reflexión. Ajá, o aseveración, pero mm. no es oración interrogativa, sino que es cláusula con la palabra what, ¿verdad? Y se puede decir, pues, traduciría bien, lo que. Uh -huh. That's lo it. Lo que mi, lo que yeah. necesito, lo that que is... mi amigo, lo que tú querrías, lo que debería uh -huh. de ver, o sea, Yeah. yeah, because that is the interpretation for our Spanish language. What I'm saying is that it is not is an easy task. Lo que estoy diciendo es que no es una tarea fácil. Sí, that is the interpretation. So mm -hmm. that is why I told you at the beginning, what I need you is to pay attention to the teacher, right? Lo que necesito es que le presten atención a la teacher so we can have clear the situation that the word what is not only to ask questions. It is only to write statements, but they are known as what clauses, como cláusulas que inician con la palabra what, pero no son preguntas. Porque no, no es lo mismo decir, what you need is to have a great product that, what is your product? Ahí, what is your product? Estamos usando what, pero como palabra interrogativa, WH question word. Y al final debe llevar una interrogación, sí, un signo de interrogación. En este caso, no. What my friend did was get fresh ingredients. Yeah. What you did at the beginning was to present your projects. Lo que ustedes hicieron al principio fue presentar sus proyectos. Yes. What you did at the beginning of the class. Is that correct? But now it is the time for you to put into practice this theory and the one that I shared with you at the beginning of the class. Select the best expression from the, from the table in section four to complete the sentences. Your choices are what you need, what my friend did, what I would do, lo que yo haría, what I would do, what I'm saying is, lo que estoy diciendo es, okay? According to the context of these sentences. Now my question is, class, how do you feel more comfortable with this exercise? Working individually or working in a small group so you can discuss? ¿Cómo se sienten más cómodos para realizar este ejercicio de complemento? ¿Trabajando individualmente o en pequeños grupos? 
rooms. In breakout rooms? In group chat. In groups? In, in, in small groups. Group. In small groups, yeah, because you can make a decision, right? And later we're going to standardize the answers here in the main session room. Okay, so everybody, you're going to work at page 12, exercise number five. And your choices are the phrases from exercise four over here, these ones, okay? And now I'm going to transfer you to the different groups. Let's verify. Okay, there are four participants in each group. Okay, here we go. Feel free to share your screen if you want to, okay? Join your groups, please. I sent you the invitation. Join your groups if you are so nice. Thank you. Okay, great, great. In group number one, I need Josue, Marianne, and Wendy Maricela. Please go to group number one, Marianne Scarlett, and Marina. We need you in group number five, Miss Marina Jansi. Okay. Thank you. See you. Hello. <laughs> Fue un ratito al baño, Wendy. <laughs> no, yeah, but in here, let me see. You are supposed, ah, because Marianne Scarlett is not here, but she's supposed to be here. Maybe she, ah, she's just a listener. That's why. Está como oyente ahora, dice. Okay. But you can work with Josué. Josué, okay. no sé. <laughs> Let me see, Josué. No, Josué should be here. Okay, so wait for when. He's so sorry, miss. Ya no tarde, creo. Okay, but are you clear about the instructions? Pero sí está clara con las instrucciones. Sí, vamos a... Uh, ay, perdón. Okay. Ay, he iniciado las fiestas acá. <ríe> wow. En San Miguel. Oh, my God, really. Enjoy <ríe> them for us. Disfrútelas por nosotras. Ok, but she's coming back. Ok, so remember, according to the context, you choose the best option, ok? Mm -hmm. Ok, yes. see you. See you. Le parece así? When my best friend was open, was open it in a good mode. ¿Qué es lo que este, mi mejor amigo no, debería abrir? Pues Mel, o en un buen centro comercial. When my best friend was open in a good mode. No sé si le parece, Margarita, o Don Brando. No, but but listen. Le, y, le eh, falta un verbo ahí. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. I was about to tell you guys because my best friend just opened his own shop. It means that the action is already done. Ya está en pasado la acción, ¿verdad? Lo, eh, mi amigo uh, recién abrió su propia tienda. What my best friend did. Ajá, uh -huh. was. Ok. Was open it in a good more. But my best friend did uh -huh. what? Was, ajá, uh -huh. was open it in a good mall, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Porque acá Siempre tenía la frase, bien. mire, what my, my friend did. What my best friend did. Ajá, acá tiene. Es la tercera opción la que han usado. Es, primer. Ajá, ya, yeah, correct. Ok, see you. Okay. El otro sería, many people want to start their own business. What they need. 
información. Sería Ajá, what sería they need. What you need. What, you what need. they need. Sí. Ah, what you need. What you need. Yo. Este es la, la. Okay. Yo. Sí, sí. Yo. Excellent. I don't know if we'll Okay, listen. To... Hello, hello. May I have your hello? attention? It is correct your sentence, but according to the previous information in number two, many people, okay, many people uh, went to start their own. Want to start. Want to start their own business, yeah? What you need oh, is business. lots of information. Okay. Uh, the expression is what you need, the one that you have in here. But according to the context, to make it better, what they need is lots of information because you're referring to many people. Yeah. Uh -huh. And ah, we okay. need to associate. Yeah. Okay. Only what that. They need. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you. Teacher. Okay. My pleasure. Okay. Um, because I must want to start their own business. It's what what I would do. Information. What they will do is no. In which sentence are you, people? Which sentence are you? Number two. Number two. Yes. My, okay, here. Many people want to start their own business. Is lots of information, yeah? Many people is here the subject, but remember that you need to associate this first sentence to the second one. If it is necessary, you have to make any change in the subject. So, what is the phrase that you consider could be the best over here? Think what they, what they, uh -huh. what they do. No, because the complement is, is lots of information. What they need. That's it. What they need. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very well. Okay. They need is a lot of information. Ah, okay. 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 La información. Necesitan la información. La información. Ah. What they need is a lot of information. Lot of information. Oh. Okay. No, but at least, yes, I. Ah. Okay. Luego tenemos. The verb, the verb is missing. El verbo les hace falta. Hey. Ay, que le borró, ni. Mm -hmm. What no. they need. Oh, they need. What they need. I don't know where she has to start. I work a star. Sí. Yes, no, no hay problema. Quizás el what's. No, estamos con what I'm. Aquí es hacer, aquí es hacer, el verbo es hacer. 
lo que ella necesita o debe hacer es presentar su producto online. Algo así como what she what she, what she saying she is promote the product online. Uh, listen. But the sentence tells you, I don't know where she has to start. Y alguien más dice, what? What if we say, what I would do, lo que yo haría? Mm. Mm -hmm. Probably what I would do, well, lo que yo okay. haría. Porque acá dice alguien, I don't know where she has to start. She is given, that person is given an opinion. But then it makes it more personal. What I would do is, uh -huh, lo que yo haría, if I were her, si yo fuera ella, ya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if what? I will be. What I would do is. Solo what I would do, okay. what I would do, porque is ya lo tiene. What I would do is promote the products online. No okay. tiene que complicarse con otra estructura. What I would do is promote. Lo que yo haría es promover los productos en línea. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. People don't buy new products because they can't. That person... Ay. Ay. No sé si está bien así o nos equivocamos. What I say. Okay, my best friend just opened his own shop. What he or uh, what or what my best friend needs. Uh -huh. What. Sí, no, sí. no, pero no, no, no puede ser ni, ¿saben por qué? Porque ya está en pasado Ajá, es y la oración continúa, entonces tendría que ser la oración con did y acá tienen what my friend did, ya tienen hasta la palabra ahí, my friend. Yo todavía, sí. uh -huh. <risa> y ya está aquí. What my friend did was ah. open it in a good mall. Many people want to start their own business. What I would do is no. Porque lo que yo haría es mucha información. No. Yo lo entendí como que uh, creo que es mucha información, pero no, ¿verdad? No. So here, what you need is lots of information. Necesitas mucha información para iniciar un negocio. Mm. ¿Ya? Pero en este caso, fíjense bien, está bien, pero, porque es la frase, pero utilizándola ya en el contexto, como el sujeto es many people, no vamos a escribir you, porque it doesn't match, right? So you say, what they need, what they need, what uh -huh. they need, uh -huh. what they need is lots of information. I don't know where she has to start. What I would do is, uh -huh, people don't buy new products because they can't. What I'm saying is there is no demand. That's correct. Very well. Congratulations on the other two. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is because it is a new topic, because you are used to this word, what, only for questions. Por eso se les pone así un poquito como que, ¿qué es esto, verdad? Uh -huh. Porque están acostumbradas a usar what solo para preguntas. Y no, también uh -huh. es para aseveraciones, pero se llaman cláusulas con what. Pero si se fijan al traducirlo, es de la misma manera que hablamos en español. Yes or no? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What I am listening is pop music. Lo que estoy escuchando es música popular. Yes. Okay. What I'm doing is taking my class. Lo que estoy haciendo es tomar mi clase. Ya. Yeah. Okay. So I think it is time to return to the main session room so we can standardize the answers. Yes. 
Yes. Maybe somebody has a different opinion. Okay, thank you, people who are thank working you, very hard and actively. No. My pleasure. Let's return. Let's wait for the other partners to return and then we are going to standardize the answers, okay? Okay, class, here we go. And now, please, you are going to turn into dictators to me because you're going to dictate your potential answers. So let me see. In number one, the sentence tells you, my best friend just opened his own shop. One point that you need to notice is that the sentence is in past, yeah? So we have was open. Was is it past? It is, open it in a good mall. So the clause should be. What could be the clause? One volunteer to help me. What my friend did. What my friend did or did. my what best friend did. Yeah, very well. <clears throat> so we take that. This is taken, right? It is out. And now number two, many people want to start their own business. It's lots of information. So the potential, what clause could be? What they need. What you need. What they need. What they need. What they and we change the subject because here you have many people, yes? So many people doesn't match with you and then you only change they. Okay, so over here is this one. So we only have two more choices. In that case, we go over number three. I don't know where she has to start. The compliment. Okay, what? what? She would do. But if you say what she would do, is like if you are impersonating her. But you are given here an opinion, okay? Because I don't know where she has to start. No sé dónde ella tiene que comenzar, cómo tiene que comenzar is promote their products. Mm -hmm. Estoy con I. Entonces, ¿cuál sería ahí? I would. Uh, what I would do, lo que yo haría, in case that I was her, en un caso hipotético que yo fuera ella, what I would do, what I would do, lo que yo haría, is promote the products online. And then we dismiss Okay. We say goodbye to this one, and we only have what I'm saying. People don't buy new products because they can't. Is there is no demand? And then what I'm saying. What I'm saying. It is the mm -hmm. only one. What I'm saying. Mm -hmm is there is no demand okay what i'm saying is there is no demand yeah now here you have your turn 
you have to prepare a two minute presentation about a product from your company. Introduce important information about this product using the clauses. Uh, would you please uh, turn off your microphones? Microphones off. Again, I'm going to repeat. Prepare a two minute presentation about a product from your company. Introduce important information about this product using what clauses. If you remember, you presented your project, yes? But now, what are you going to do? You are going to present it in a different way, okay? Just, if this is an example, but you use your creativity. Let's see. Uh, I remember the, the, the sandwich, okay? Let's imagine that it, it is a chicken sandwich. Just an example, chicken sandwich, because one of you didn't present, but I heard that the day before yesterday, they were working on this. And then you start saying it. What you need to prepare a a chicken sandwich is, what do you need to prepare a chicken sandwich? Is mm -hmm. bread, bread, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and so on. Okay. And then what you need to do first is lo que tienes que hacer primero y ahí describen el primer paso, ¿ya? Then, what you have to do after or secondly after is, yes A lo que ya tienen le van a introducir las cláusulas con what, yes Is that okay? So you are going to present your project, but in a higher level of the language, in un nivel más elevado del idioma, because you're going to use what clauses. Is that okay? But my point is, are you, okay, are you with the people that you were last Tuesday in the same groups or no, you're not? Do you remember? No, you're not, right? Okay, you tell me if you remember because some of you don't remember. You forgot your friends in a project, in a business, imagine, no. Okay, uh, let's see. Wendy, Maricela, are you here? Marianne Scarlett, are you here? Okay. Okay, Wendy, who were your partners? Tell me. Acá vamos a moverlo. ¿Quién eran sus compañeros? Do you remember? No, no me acuerdo. Dicho. I know. <laughs> okay, so listen, what you're going to do is different. Then. Bueno, lo que van a hacer es diferente. From the people in the group, you choose one of the projects. Seleccionan uno de los proyectos, ¿verdad? De los presentes en el equipo, you vote, and then you write the presentation. Right now, it is only inserting the what clauses. What you need to do first is this, what you need to do after that. Uh, lately, what you need to uh, continue doing is this, blah, 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 okay? So that's it. <laughs> Here, Tony is asking who were working with the pancakes. ¿Quiénes trabajaron con los pancakes? Uh, sí, sí, la mía Celia Cristina. Okay, sí, so man. at least in your group, um, we're going to try to organize your group. <laughs> okay, Tony, tell me the name of the people. So I'm going to move them. Eh, dígame los nombres de sus integrantes. Celia y Pablo. Okay. Si Veamos si están acá en los grupos. Porque. Celia Mirna. Yo. Sí, pero. Y Mirna. Ok. Let's 
sí. Pero Celia Cristina no estaba en los grupos anteriores, ¿verdad? Porque no me aparece acá. Como no, estaba trabajando con él. En el anterior estuve con Claudia, con Atilio y con Concepción. Fíjese que aquí me aparece en el grupo 4, Atilio Castillo, Claudia María, Guerrero y Concepción Marina, solo tres personas. Bueno, entonces la, la voy a reorganizar. En el caso... No, pero yo tres. Entonces, okay. sí, pero como no me aparece acá, cuando los envía a los grupos, la voy a asignar a usted con, con Juan, ¿de acuerdo? Porque no me aparece acá, probablemente cuando Está hizo el cambio... Otro. Está en otro device, quizás. Ah, sí, es que se cambió el celular ahora. Sí, cuando cambió, uh -huh. entonces fue que salió y ya desapareció de la plataforma. Entonces, veamos. Tony, ¿quién más me dijo? Perdón, estaba en mute. Mirna, y <risa> Mirna, Pablo. Mirna. Mirna, Alicia Hernández okay. y Pablo Alberto Abre. Entonces ahí ya se la puedo mover al equipo 2. Y Pablo, ok, acá está. Moverlo al equipo 2. Tenemos en el equipo 2 Mirna Lisset, Pablo, Tony. Y Sandra Leticia, ¿con quién estaba en el grupo anterior? No se recuerda. Bueno, my partner's not here. No recuerdo. They are absent. Oh my God. Entonces a Sandra la voy a enviar al equipo 4. Y ahí deciden ustedes cuál proyecto van a presentar, ¿verdad? Nelly, ¿en cuál equipo estaba? Yo no estuve en la clase. Ay. Bueno, entonces Nelly se queda en el equipo con, con Juan y con Christy, ¿ok? I'm going to open the breakout rooms. Remember, you choose from all the, because everybody prepared the project. Todos prepararon un proyecto, me consta. Y está en la grabación de la clase también. Entonces, seleccionan uno y van a redactar la presentación, pero insertándoles las what clauses, ¿ok? Here we go. Teacher. Join your groups, ¿sí? Uh, yo no estuve también en la clase anterior. Permítame. Fisher. Sí. ¿Me puede recordar quiénes estuvieron conmigo, por favor? <risa> no me recuerdo. Ahí solo que veamos que... la clase. <risa> <risa> en, en la grabación. Dígame, Hola, compañero. Nelson. No, Nelson. Contesto. Hola, Nelson. Conmigo hicimos el chicken el sandwich. sandwich. Ah, ok. okay. Ahorita. Solo que Ahorita el otro es... compañero no sé quién es. Ok. Vaya, Nelson, vaya. Nelson con Nelly, ¿verdad? No, con Wendy. Ah, con Wendy. Ok, yeah. Nelson, ya lo voy a transferir. Nelson con Wendy. ¿Y dónde está Wendy? Al equipo uno. Entonces, al equipo uno, Nelson. Thank you. Ok, y ahí deciden, ¿verdad? ¿Con quiénes? Uy, pero me aparece en el equipo tres. Ok. Join your groups because I'm going to join Estefanía Carranza is lonely, the lonely. Join your groups, class. Join your groups. Hello, Estefanía and Luis Miguel. Hello, teacher. ¿Y usted se recuerda con quiénes estaba trabajando el proyecto suyo? Mm, no, yo no estuve en la clase anterior. Ay, oh, entonces la voy a enviar a otro equipo. Y Luis Miguel está de listener. Entonces, la, la, los dos los voy a enviar a otro equipo, ¿ok? Para okay, que, pues. para que se, o sea, al equipo 5 la voy a enviar. Ok. Ok. Go to group number five. And Luis Miguel, also go to group number five, because I have only two people over there. También. Ay, Stephanie acaba de entrar, ¿verdad? Sí, pero sí, Stephanie me comentaba que estuvo ausente en la clase, en la clase anterior. Yo también, dije. Ah, no, yo la sí, recuerdo a usted, fíjese. 
que no, ya la había conocido que... antes de muy, muy atrás, de mucho tiempo atrás. Eh, entonces solo Darío estuvo presente porque lo que sucede es que Luis Miguel está como listener. Ah, ok. Entonces, ¿cuál era su proyecto, Darío? ¿Se recuerda? Sí, lo, eh, pero lo escribió Carlita, era el, el, el de crema de maní. Ah, entonces, y Carlita, permítame, vamos a ver dónde está Carla. ¿Y dónde está Carla? Carla Sofía, para enviárselas para acá, porque ella decía que su gente no estaba aquí. Ya se las voy a enviar al equipo número. No hacemos. Lo hacen ustedes, va. Ok, no, porque lo que, lo que tienen que hacer es la, la, agregarle la, las what clauses, ¿verdad? Ahorita, ahorita vamos a hacer una taza de café. Y ah, ok, great, excellent. Yes, amazing, excellent. No problem, that's it. That is the attitude, ok? Ok. Very well. Para un sándwich de pasta de pollo. El número uno, ya pues tomamos dos rebanadas de pan de caja. Two loaves of bread. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pero creo que sería después del what you need, second, en vez del first. No, el need sería. Así. No, sería second what you need. That's correct. Eh, sería como second pues, what you no need que... is to second what you need is and then you mm -hmm. write the second step. What you need mm -hmm. is put the pancakes powder in a bowl. Yeah. Me faltó el need después del you. What you need to put the pancake powder in a bowl. Okay. Third. Third. Uh, Puesto el segundo paso, we add, we add McCormick mayonnaise to a steak with hot seasonic chicken. Wow. ¿Quién pasa? No, Carla, pero ahí sería... What we need, what, what we need to do, uh, no, in principle, what you need to do first, two slices. Uh -huh. No, 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 hey, hold it, sorry for the interruption. What we need is two slides, no, slides on diapositivas, slices. En lugar, de la, nice. en lugar de la D, una C. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Ajá, nice what we need to do first. Okay. Slices. Pues, permítanme, what, what we need to do first is to get is what we need to do first. No, what we need to do first is is ajá. Uh -huh is get después de first uh -huh. yeah. is get yeah. two slices two slices of bread of bread of bread, of bread. Uh -huh. de pan así así 
did it. Yes, that's okay. correct. Two mm -hmm. slices of bread. Después dijeron que podríamos ponerle mayonesa, algo así. Mayonesa, sí. Yeah, but you're right. What you need to do second is put some uh, spread mayonnaise on the bread. Spread mayonnaise on the bread. Yeah. Hoy sí voy a aprender. <laughs> See, what you need is spread. What you need is spread. What you need is spread mayonnaise on the bread. Teacher, spread que no es sang. No, spread es esparcir. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Mayonnaise. Esparcir o untar, como decimos acá. Okay, check oh, out uh, mayonnaise on the bread sobre el pan. Ah, sí, sí. On the bread, okay. On the bread. Yeah. <laughs> on the bread. Yeah. On the bread. Gracias. Thanks. Later. Okay. Well, vamos con el lado. What do you need? What do you need? Mix all the ingredients. May I interrupt you for a while? Okay. When you use the modal auxiliaries, you never use the word to. So here, third step, what you should do, what you should do. No, it's to. Uh-huh. It is the same when you use can. You don't, you don't say, I can can to drive you say i can drive yes porque mm. después de los modal auxiliary nunca usamos la partícula tú okay 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 what do para you should para, would, para todos para los can. modal auxiliaries okay uh -huh. okay, so much. Uh, okay one cup of milk and yeah. <laughs> After what you need. Ajá. Pero ahorita estamos tratando de entender qué va a ponerle. Ah, what, after what you need. Ok. Um, Pero ahí sería you need, you need ¿verdad? Le quitaría ajá. el do. Um, in... Ahí lo envié, Latilio, a ver si, no sé si eso es lo uh, que tenían preparado. Beans, uh, oils, onion, ajá. Una pizquita de sal. <risa> a ver, sal. A pinto of salt. Pinto of salt. Ah. Uh. Lo que es do no sería did o oh, sí. Eh, si lo queremos poner en pasado como que lo hicimos. Ah, sí, 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 tiene razón. Nosotros hicimos. Ajá, lo hicimos de disolvimos el café en el agua. Podemos in second place o en mm. eh, in second step. Uh, aquí fue what what dissolve coffee in hot water luego entonces agregamos azúcar aquí sería what What, what we, no, sí, solo el, el dentro que hay de quitarle, ¿verdad? Ajá. 
que nosotros haríamos ajá what we were Lo que nosotros haríamos entonces. Ah, pero hay, hay dos veces el we. Lo que haríamos entonces nosotros. Es que tiene dos. Entonces en el segundo, ahí cabal, creo que se le borraríamos el pie. Uh -huh. Y aquí. Lo que haría yo, por lo que no ya usamos ese, ¿verdad? Sí. Well, after I lo que yo hago vamos a ver aquí lo que yo hago después sería el yo hay aquí es what I will I will I will do sería lo que haría lo que yo haría a lo que yo hago después, yo haría después ver, ajá. Ajá. y finally ah, si fuera en corrección vamos a ver aquí sería lo que finalmente logramos es disfrutarlo. Ajá. Lo que finalmente hacemos. World. Sería what we finally. ¿Cómo? What we finally. Um, pero la, la sintaxis no, del, del what. Finalmente. What we finally do is enjoy the drink. What we finally do is enjoy. Okay. Ah. Uh, do is. What we finally do is enjoy it. Es como corregir. Es como corregir la oración casi completa. Uh -huh. Hasta donde dice do, hasta ahí en el último. De ahí borramos lo demás y ponemos is enjoy it. Uh, it de qué? En esto, así como lo dijo la, la teacher. Instead of drink, it, uh, the pronoun, the pronoun, it, it. the subject pronoun, it. Okay, you have what 
we finally, we do, finally it, do enjoy it. it. it the, the, she says, instead of the drink, you write it. Lo disfrutamos. Instead of saying we enjoy the drink, disfrutamos la bebida, you say, uh, lo disfrutamos, we enjoy it. It's fine. Okay, en lugar de, de drink o escribe it, el pronombre personal it, para sustituir the drink, comentaba su compañera, ok. Ah, ok. ¿Así? It, solo it, agréguele. El, y al te, final ajá al final y quita el que le puso antes del is vaya okay. sí uh, les parece si lo practicamos There is a mistake in the first sentence. Hay un error en la primera oración. What I need. I siempre, ese pronombre personal va con mayúscula. Escríbanmelo bien. What I need. In the first sentence. What I need. También en, la, en el tercer oración hay que modificarlo a mayúscula, ¿verdad? No, cuarta, perdón. Finally. Que sea de la misma, del mismo párrafo. No, hold it, hold it, hold it in sentence number three. What do we have to know? Eliminate that do at the beginning. Excellent. What we have to do after is spread chicken pasta on the bread. What we, um, what we take a slice. No, what we, aquí necesitan algo. What we have, what we have to What we have to, to do next, to do next, next is take a slice of tomato, pickle, and lettuce. What we have to in esta otra. Mm, what we have to to add what we have to add add, add. Mm -hmm. okay next is dressing ahí eliminen lo que les sobra permítanme que Pablo ay no sé dónde estaba Pablo lo voy a enviar acá y luego lo envío al que le corresponde okay sorry Uh, and then you say, uh, what we have to add next is dressing to taste, okay? Ketchup, Caesar, home. ¿Cuál es el que le van a agregar de todo eso? O todo le van a agregar. <laughs> okay, es como, taste. Es como, como un ejemplo. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá es. Uh, uh, ketchup or Caesar, honey agregarle. mustard, like the zombies. <laughs> 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 Olive oil, oh. etc. And finally, you enjoy it. Lo disfrutas. <laughs> or you eat it. <laughs> No, le, es que necesitamos colocarle primero la segunda la segunda rebanada de, para cerrar el sándwich. Ah, ok. We close, we close the you put on the other slice of bread on it. Yeah. We, you put, we, we put, we put, we, we put, 
we on the second slide. <laughs> no, listen, we put the second slide, the second slide, slice, slice. Uh, a slice of bread on it. Of bread, bread of bread on it. Sobre este. On, on it. it. On it. And that's on it. it. On, on it. it. Very well. And that's it. Now double check if there is a, a, a grammar mistake or what. Uh, is get okay. two slices of bread. What we need is to spread mayonnaise on the bread. What we have to do after is to spread chicken pasta. What we have to do next is take. Mm -hmm. Very well, okay. Now practice yeah. and decide who's going to present it to the class in the main session room. Okay. Okay. See you. Okay, Pablo, you. Pablo, are you here? Pablo, your group. Carla. Hola. Eh, eh, Colóquele. Eh, ¿Con quién eh, estaba Pablo? No to him. Estaba con, con Mary y este. Y Mirna, y Celia, y Tony. Lo que pasa Tony. es que este, fue la energía en, en mi casa. Y sí, por eso lo voy a reenviar a su equipo. Ajá. Por favor. Vaya, lo voy a enviar al equipo 2, group number 2, ¿ok? Bye. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Continue, uh, Mr. Tejada, with your comments. Yeah, and now to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's enjoy it. Okay, uh, practiquen para ver quién lo va a presentar en el, en el salón con los compañeros. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yo en el chat. Ahorita voy. No, el is hasta ahí está bien, Atilio. Ajá. Y eh, solo eso borra. Ajá. Y ahí agregue lo otro. Uh -huh. uh, one suggestion, una sugerencia. Instead of plate, write dish. Ok. Porque plate es el, el, el objeto y dish es el platillo de comida. En el tema. Okay. What's the chat? Acá. Ajá. Dish. Dish D. I. No. I as in Irma. Dish. Y como lo mandé en el chat. Dish. Ajá. Correcto. Así como está en el chat. Ay, Norma, no sé cuál es. Norma, cuatro. ¿Con ustedes estaba Norma? No, no. Bueno, voy a esperar que ingrese para ver con quién estaba porque... Hello, Norma, Patricia. And your partners, do you remember the names of your partners? Norma. Norma. Sí, correcto, Porque correcto. Sí, sí, en varios lugares tengo varios que les ha pasado lo mismo. Entonces, dígame, Norma Marita. Patricia, eh, los nombres de sus compañeros, ¿se recuerda alguno de los que están trabajando en esta noche? Sí, estaba Stephanie. Ah, ok, group number five. Ok, I'm going to send you to group number five. Bye, Norma. Ok, sorry for the interruption. Let's continue. But you know those things happen, okay? Hey, si algún día se me va la energía, me esperan, please. They are blended to make them pure. They are fried over low heat. Clever. What do you mean by clever? Inteligente. Eh, no. No, eso es lo que tenían. Eso no lo hemos cambiado. No, no lo hemos cambiado. Pero clever? What do you mean no. by clever? Ah, you're going to eliminate it. Yes. Okay, what we need to prepare beans. Aquí también dish. A beans dish. La primera, Atilio. Uh -huh. in, in number one, Atilio, please, let's replace plate by dish. Over here. Ahí. Ahí. Beans 
oil onions and what you need to do first is blend the beans what you have to do after is put in a certain hot with oil and onions they are blended to make them heat finally what you have to do is uh to serve to serve the beans finalmente lo que tiene que hacer es servir los los frijoles ya finally what do, what what you what we do sería uh -huh, what we do is to serve the beans mm -hmm. Finally, what you do? Ahí está en el chat. Eh. Finally, what, what we do is to serve, no, is serve without serve. server. Uh -huh. Is serve. Ahora ahí le cambia eso a ti. Finally, what we do is to serve. Only eliminate uh -huh. the R. Yes, R. That R eliminated. Delete. What? Erase. Esta, the server. La última R. La última R. En, uh -huh. ya, yeah, that's la correct. R. Yeah. El server elimine la última R. Ahí lo puse. Eh, Beans es. Sí, pero primero que elimine la R porque me pone nervioso o que escriba bien Beans. Serve the Beans. Uh -huh. That's correct. And that's it. Okay, I think it is time to return to the breakout to the main session room. Yes. And now you have to decide uh put it in a certain in a in a in a pan. Pan es cacerola. P A N pan. P A N pan like pan. Uh-huh. Cacerola. Cacerola o sartén. Ajá, y por eso se lo ha marcado acá el, el, el rojito. La número quizás. tres, en vez de sartén, pan. Uh -huh. That's it. Este dos ¿Está? sartén. Ahí, Ajá, ahí sí. ya. Elimine esa y ponga pan. Uh -huh. Solo la palabra sartén. Y ¿Cómo es la que se ha Oh, hold it. Put it in a Salt hot pan. pan. In a hot, in a hot pan. Acá hay que invertir. Primero escribimos hot y luego pan. En una cacerola caliente, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces hay que invertir el orden. In a hot pan. Okay. Ahí. Uh -huh. With oil and onions. Excellent. Very well. Now practice and decide who's going to present it for the class. Okay? Okay. Teacher. Wow. Wow. Very well. Congratulations. You have been working yes. very hard. But you need to practice speaking too. Okay? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Then. Todos. Oh, ah, bueno, vamos a integrar. Ah, la niña sí, Nelly, sí. después la niña Mirna, después la niña Celia, después don Pablo, que se me ha perdido, si sí está ahí. Ah, y de último voy yo. Miss Bye. and Mister, Miss and Mister. Miss Celia, Miss Mirna, Miss Nelly, Mr. Pablo Abrego. Ok, now ready because it is time to present uh, the project to the class. Yes? Ah, ok. Ok, okay let's return. Ya que nos vamos de regreso y ya. Yes. Ah. Okay, class, let's uh, wait for the other partners to return. I don't know in your houses, but in some places, as your partners told me, they had a blackout. You know a blackout? Un apagón. 
the energía eléctrica. But right now, I don't know in your houses, but in my house it's raining. Yeah, as the uh, weather no, broadcast said, yeah, como dijo él, el, el, el pronóstico del tiempo, ya. Yeah? And I okay. thought it was, they are lying, but no, it is true, it is raining. Because of the hurricane, yeah. Lisa, I think is the name of the hurricane. Okay, class. Now let's take advantage of the connectivity. And here we go. Uh, volunteers for uh, presenting the project in group number one. Group number one, we have Joshua, Carla, Sofia, Marianne, Nelson, and Wendy. Okay, class. Let's begin. Okay. Este, uh, if, if steps to prepare a delicious chicken sandwich. <laughs> what we need to do first is get to a slice of bread. What we need is a spread mayonnaise on the bread. What we have to after is spread chicken pasta on the bread. What we have to do next is take a sliced tomato, tomato pickle, and let, let choose. Lettuce. Lettuce. Okay. What we have to add next is raisin to taste, capsule, Caesar, honey, monster, etc. And finally, we put a second slice of bread or it. And now let's enjoy. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> Congratulations. Very well done. And now let's see and let's listen to group number two. Celia Cristina, Mirna Lisset, Nelly Lisbeth, and Tony Elias. And it's the time for you. You are stars, okay? Okay, we are ready. What do we need um, to make pancakes? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> what do we need to make pancakes? First is buy all the ingredients. Mirna? Second. Is put in the pancakes water in some water. Here set what you should do is add one cup of milk and one egg. Um, and then what you have to do is mix all the ingredients. Before, what you should do is preheat the pan. After, what you need is add the butter and mix the millet. No. Next, what you have to do is add the <clears throat> miller butter in the mass and continue mix it. Later, what you must do is pour the mass down in the pan. Uh, remember, the most important uh, what you should do is add lots of chocolate chips. Two to liters later, what you should do is flip the pancake and cook until golden brown. Finally, what you should do is enjoy them. Delicious pancake. <laughs> Extremely delicious. Congratulations, very well. Now it is the turn for the next team. We have Atilio Castillo, Claudia, Concepcion, and Norma Patricia. Teacher, yo ahí estaba y me mandó para otro lado. <laughs> okay, but you are part of this group, no problem. Okay. 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 Acaba de uno y me enviaba para otro. <risa> es que es porque como cuando usted sale, el, no lo reconoce ya el, la plataforma. Y para estar recordándole, ¿verdad? Entonces lo enviaba uno y la... Ok. Ok, let's begin. Sorry. Says to make El Salvador beans dish. 
One, what we need to prepare a beans dish are beans, oil, onions, and consomme. What you need to do first is blend the beans. What you have to do after is put in a hot pan, pan with oil and onions. Atilio, are you here? Okay, continue somebody else. Sure, yeah. Yeah. They are blended to make them pure. They are friend over low head. Finally, what, he, what we do is to serve the beans. So. Very well okay. done, congratulations. Congrats for the group. Now let's listen to the next team. Darío Alvarenga, Stephanie, Luis Miguel, Marina Jansi, and Sandra Leticia. <laughs> Para ahí me había mandado. <laughs> oh, you were crying. You should have told me, teacher. Turn me back, okay? <laughs> A, making a good coffee cup. Next. What do you have to do? Oh my God, what I mean, your members are stupid. Yes. But I can I I I have the. Mm. Uh, okay, in the second, right? In the first. Okay, what I need first is hot water to boiling point. Well, what we did in second step was dissolve coffee in the hot water. What I would then is after. What I would do after is remove the mixture. What we finally do is enjoy. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations. Very well. Making a good cup of coffee in El Salvador. Okay. Only food. Congratulations, class. Very well done. Thank you for sharing. Now, class, listen, I'm going to call your names in order to take your second attendance. So please activate your cameras if you are so nice. Here, Atilio. Atilio Ernesto. Atilio, where are you? Uh, Atilio, maybe. Yeah, he is frozen, I think. Yeah. Brandon, Brandon Josue. Okay, yeah, in the chat. Brandon, where are you, Brandon? Josue. Hello, Josue Garcia. Um, Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Present teacher. Concepcion. Present thank teacher. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Concepcion. Present. Great. Darío Antonio. Present teacher. Stephanie Carranza. Present. Thank you, Miss. Um, Josué Neftali. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Luis Miguel. I'm um, here, teacher. Present. Great. Mr. Corbera, thank you. Marian Scarlett. Marian Scarlett, Rodriguez Luna, just a listener. Marina Jansi. Miss Jansi Sandoval Bonilla. Absent, okay. Mirna Lisset. 
present. Thank you, Miss. Nelly Lily Betts. Present. Nelson Orlando. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Norma. Norma Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Pablo. Pablo Adalberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Leticia Peraza. Present, present teacher. Miss Wendy Maricela. Thank you. Miss Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Miss Celia Cristina. Present, teacher. Hello. Bueno, ahí les presenté cómo es que está la lista, ¿verdad? Para que vean que no era cosa mía, sino que cómo está escrita. Okay. No problem, teacher. Okay, thank you, because I okay. didn't apologize. <laughs> now, class, congratulations, you did a good job. But now we're going to continue practicing. What are you going to practice right now, class? Mm. Okay, we did this because that was the hardest part to uh, learn the structure. And right now you are going to practice in the breakout rooms this short conversation and you are going to discuss the answers to the questions below. The questions are, what does Kirk's friend do to have a better honey quality? Do you consider that quality is important? This is um, your opinion as a group. And why? If it is yes, why? If it is not, why? So here we have these two guys, John and Kirk. Kirk, do you know what you need to have a good product? Mm, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people, right? Once again, Kirk, do you know what you need to have a good product? Um, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence. I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people, okay? Questions about pronunciation or about vocabulary in this conversation? No? Okay, so this is page 11 in your manual. And right now I'm going to transfer you so you can practice uh, speaking, but I'm going to recreate the groups. Yeah, no, no. Yes, to practice speaking. Uy, too many. Let's see. Okay, remember, you take turns to practice once, and later you switch roles, intercambian roles, de acuerdo? Okay. okay, here we go. I'm going to open all the rooms right now. Join your groups. Practice as much as possible. Thank you so much. Mirna, I need you in group number one. Mariana Scarlett in group number four. Marina Jansi. I need you, Marina Yancy, I need you in group number five. In the products. What do you mean? What I say, I say is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes. 
you know a friend on main has a honey factory what my my friend did was to get friends honey from local farmer sounds great and at the same time he contributed to these people okay. Ahora usted inicia. Um, here do you know what you need to have a good product oh that's a good question i think that uh, that what i could do is have quality in a product what do you mean what I am saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, uh, get up. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. As you say, sounds great. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, great. 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 Sounds great. Great. Sounds great. Okay, listen, uh, I'm going to read it once for you. <clears throat> Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Uh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence. I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay. Now you practice one more time. I would like to listen to you. Uh, Concepcion, you start. Okay. Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good growth? Oh, that's a good question. I think that I want to do it have a quality in a product. What do you mean? What I am saying is that the product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know that a friend of mine has a funny factory. What my friend did was to get to get friends funny from local farm. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay, now switch. You begin, Miss Wendy. Usted inicia, okay. Wendy. Okay. Here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I could do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that the product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And the same time, he contributes uh, to these people. Okay, and now you are going to provide the answers to the two questions, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, see you. Thank you for practicing. Thank you. Perdón. I get it. Ajá, con I get it. I get it. Y el I otro es correct. I get it. Great es el de abajo. This uh -huh. is great. Y el otro no. también es el, el what I, ¿verdad? Dice what, what I. ¿Cuál? ¿Este de acá? Ajá. What I'm. What I'm saying. What I'm saying is. No, what I'm. What I'm, say, what I'm saying is. Uh, you know, this sound of T turns into R. 
for American people. And it is uh, phonetically known as a flap sound. Okay, se le llama flap sound cuando para los americanos esta T se convierte en R. Y no decimos what I'm saying, no van a escuchar a un americano decir eso, what I'm saying, o escuchen en las canciones, what, I'm, what I need from you, okay, eso dicen los singers. Entonces a ese sonido en fonética se le conoce como flap, flap sound, okay, what I'm saying. I get it. Acá de nuevo, mire, la T se convierte en R. Get it. I get it. Y ellos usan mucho esto en pasado. Got it. Got it. Okay. Entendido. Ya. Yeah. En now class, uh, you have to answer the two questions. Yes. Remember? The answers to the questions below. Ya. Yeah. Ok, great, excellent. That is what I like, ok, to practice. Okay. See you later. Sí, no sé See you. See you. Ahora vamos con. No, es que ninguna. Ah, no, tampoco. Igual se puede poner el what antes. Lo que él hizo o lo que él hace sería mm. what antes. No, es que si pone what es pregunta. No, es lo que estamos viendo. Es no, la porque cláusula. sería una cláusula. Ajá. Lo, que was, no es... lo que él hizo fue, ya, o lo ah. que él hace es. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, Ahí están ustedes contrastando las dos, lo que les decía, la primera como question word y la otra como cláusula, que no significa pregunta, ¿ok? Uh -huh. se puede. Entonces es, what did o he did? Okay, what does Kirk friend do? No, what uh, he does, porque es do en presente la pregunta. Mm -hmm. What he does, porque es tercera persona singular. What he does mm -hmm. is, is to have honey from local farmers. Uh -huh. Is to have a honey or to get honey from local farmers. Okay. Uh -huh. Y luego la otra sería do you este nos quedó como cómo fue que nos quedó la última Yes, it's very important because what customer what customer wants want, sería what 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 customer want is high quality, quality product. Excellent, yeah. very well. Congratulations. Now, girls, it's time to return to the main session room. Okay, to standardize the answers. Congrats. Good job. Excellent. Uh, We are going to standardize the answers to the two questions. And we have to wait for the others to return because there are two groups, of, three groups are still working, but the platform is going to bring them up <clears throat> back here. So here we go. And I am open to listen to your potential answers for these two questions. Number one class, one volunteer to tell me, what does Kirk's friend do to have better honey quality? What does he do? What he does is, what does he do? 
the best in the market? No. Get honey uh -huh. from local To farmers. get honey from local farmers. farmers. Okay, great. Now, this is your opinion. Class, do you consider that quality is important? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes it is. Yes, yes, it is. Why? Yes, it is because. Because what the customer wants is high quality products. Is high quality products. Yes. And finally, yes. stop at the end. Excellent. Very well done, class. Congratulations. You did a great job today. You created a lot of the language. And uh, let me see. Right now, I don't know if it is in here, Miss. Let me see. No, she's not. Oh, yes, she's here. Okay, Miss Norma, I need you to stay with me. I need to tell you something very important, okay? For the rest of the class, it was a pleasure to be here. Have a good night working in the platform. And tomorrow we have a class because it is Friday, okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye. Blessings. Have a good Bye. sleep. Happy sleep. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good have a good night. Bye-bye. Only Bye -bye. Miss Norma stays with me. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining. See you tomorrow, Marian, Scarlett, and Stephanie Carranza. Bye-bye, girls. Bye-bye, Marian. Thank you for joining. Okay, Norma, Patricia, we're going to practice speaking, okay? Reading. Okay. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Let's practice this conversation first. First, I read it, and later we practice, okay? Okay. Kurt, Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Uh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence. I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Now, Norma, you are Jav and I am correct. Okay, you begin. Okay, sure. Did you know what you need to have a good product? Uh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What did you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because um, the competence and dark. Yes, you know. A friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to get people. To get uh, people. Yes, now we switch. Kurt, okay. do you know what you need to have a good product? Um, that's a good question. Uh, in that was I do this high quality in our product. What do you mean? What, what I'm saying is that the product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Okay, to know a friend of mine has a funny factory. What my friend is was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Now you read alone. Okay. Ahora lee solita. Okay. okay. Do you know what you need to have a good product? Um, that's 
a good question. I think that what I do do is have quality in a product. What is your name? But, um, what I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence I get. It. Yes, you know a friend of mine has a funny factory. What my friend did was to get French honey from local farmers. Some dress and at the same time, we contribute to deaf people. Okay. <clears throat> mean, repeat after me. Mean. Mean. Saying. Saying. Local. Local. What do you mean? What do you mean? What I'm saying is. What I'm saying is. From local farmers. From local farmers. Now tell me, did you understand the topic we ex I explained today? ¿Comprendió el tema que hablamos hoy? La verdad me costó bastante porque como no recibí uh -huh. la clase anterior, pasada, sentí que andaba perdida. A little bit lost. Vaya, voy a tratar de... de... Marian, bye bye, Marian. Marian, bye bye. Que se supone que es una a una. Ok, here. What I'm going to say is this, ok. What? We know the meaning of this word, right? Sabemos el significado de esta palabra, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? sí. Entonces, usted, cuando yo le digo, what time is it? Es una pregunta. Sí. Ajá. What do you need? ¿Qué necesitas? Otra pregunta. Es decir, usualmente utilizamos esta palabra como WH question word y al final lleva a question mark, pero ahora lo estamos viendo como una clause, como una cláusula. Es decir, no es pregunta, no es oración interrogativa. Si yo le digo, what I am Explaining to you is the new topic. Ajá, entonces acá yo estoy usando la palabra what, pero no estoy usándola como interrogativa, como una palabra interrogativa, sino que es el inicio de una oración o una cláusula. Lo que yo le estoy explicando es el nuevo tema, se fija. Lo que le estoy explicando a quien, a usted, es el nuevo tema, ¿sí? Entonces, puedo decir yo también, what I need to drink is cold water because the day is very hot, ¿ya? Yeah? Otro ejemplo, mire, lo que yo necesito tomar es agua fría porque el clima está muy cálido, muy caliente, ¿sí? ¿Se fija? Entonces, acá lo que estábamos viendo era la diferencia entre what como pregunta y what como cláusula. Es decir, what como parte de una oración que no es oración interrogativa, ¿de acuerdo? Y eso no lo vimos... Correcto, como que fuera aseveración. Entonces, en el ejemplo que vimos acá, en el módulo sobre las preguntas, está el ejemplo, el número uno. Está what usado como, eh, mire, como interrogación, como pregunta. Y en la segunda está utilizado como cláusula. Los dos usos tenemos en, la, en el ejemplo de la Oración número uno. What does Kirk's friend do to have better honey quality? ¿Verdad? Es una pregunta. Y luego con una cláusula. What he does is, lo que él hace es obtener miel de los granjeros locales, ¿sí? De los productores locales. Entonces acá tenemos what como pregunta y what como cláusula, ¿sí? Y siempre eso tiene que ir al inicio, la oración. 
Sí, usualmente va al inicio porque mire acá este ejemplo, what I'm saying is, lo que estoy diciendo es, ¿verdad? Esto y esto. What my friend did was, lo que mi amigo hizo fue, ¿sí? Entonces, en los ejemplos que vimos al inicio, mire, what classes are often the subject of the verb be? Usualmente en las cláusulas, la palabra what es el sujeto de las oraciones cuando llevamos el verbo to be, que puede ser seguido por una palabra, frase o cláusula. Por ejemplo, what you need, what my friend did, what I would do. What I'm saying is, lo que te estoy diciendo es esto, ¿sí? Y acá las, lo tenemos completo, mire. What you need is to have a great product. Lo que tú necesitas es, ¿de acuerdo? Acá is es el, el, el verbo to be. Entonces, what, ¿qué es lo que tú necesitas? Esto. Uh -huh. What my friend did was, acá está de nuevo el verbo to be, ¿sí? What I would do is sell my product in new markets. What I'm saying is that it is not an easy task. Siempre va al inicio, igual que en las preguntas. Pero ¿qué sucede? Cuando es pregunta lleva signo de interrogación sí, sí. y lleva un verbo auxiliar, ¿sí? Para estructurar la pregunta, mientras que cuando es cláusula, ¿no? ¿Sí? Muy bien. Esto okay. es que hace la diferencia. Así es, correcto. Y ahora... Como no estuvo en la clase anterior, señorita, vamos a practicar esta conversación que practicamos okay. anteriormente sobre los procesos, ¿verdad? Ok, I am going to be Anna and you are going to be Mark, ¿ok? Mark, would you explain to us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This doesn't know to make all the Here, we are layer of chocolate second we are adding layer of slime sounds great and then finally we are injured but what about people who are diabetic can they eat it I am not going to To lie. lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider it those customers and we have other toys. We have a candy bar in bubble room with zero sugar content. Zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Now we switch. You are Anne and I am Mark. You begin. Mark will explain what the manufacturing process is. Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced salmons. Some bread and then finally we add ginger. But what about people who are in the other game? They eat it. I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We considered those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and a bubble gum with zero sugar content. Right, let's take um, a look. Great. Let's take a look. Okay, miss. Thank you so much for giving me your time. And I expect that I have clarified yeah. the topic. Espero haber clarificado un poquito más el tema, ¿de acuerdo? Yeah, have a good night. Comienzo. Okay, <laughs> my pleasure. Okay, have a good night. Sleep well and see you tomorrow, yeah. okay? Bye-bye, yeah, Miss. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you.